Hi, and welcome back to the next episode of Making Mannequin Heads into Planters. Ah. Yes. Um, anyway, that was that's my big intro. I guess I have need to do this every single time now. Um, so, when I last left you, I said that I was going to continue doing what I was doing, which I did. And I've got all of the shells and barnacles on Bar Barney the Barnacle Man um, completely, whoops, initially painted. And I got paint on here. Um, I did have an aha moment of what not to do that I did. Um, so my suggestion is if you ever decide to do this, do not do what I did to start doing what I did. Did you get that? <laughs> do not start this the way that I started this. So don't spray the whole thing. I, I was thinking that I was just going to spray them and they would be done. I cut the heads out. Blah, 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 blah. And then I looked at them and I went, well, and they were just not quite enough for what I wanted. So then I went ahead and have been doing this, right? Well, doing this, not what I'm doing with my hand right here. I am cleaning brushes. Very good. Um, putting shells on a head that is already painted is not a good idea, especially paint spray painted, because the, it's rubber and flexible and spray paint is not. So as we've discovered um, while working on these, the best way to do it would have been to have decided that I was going to do that before I painted it. Aha, uh -huh, yes. I mean, you know, hindsight, I'm learning as I go. We are learning as we go. And um, if I were to do this again with a new one, uh, which I'm not going to, maybe next year, we'll see what the project is next year. It'll be something equally wacky and far off um, the beaten path as this one. But anyway, so I would do it where I would say, don't paint it yet. Take one that has no paint on it, which they all have paint on them <laughs> for the rubber headed ones and do with the other stuff uh, like cutting and uh, then paint after you've done cutting. But you know, it's an organic process for me. And just like with the side holes for the plantings, you know, it's like I cut these two completely out, this one and the other side. And then it's like, uh, I'm gonna glue them back in because I wanted them to um, be flaps. So here he is, get him a little closer to you. Do 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 be do be do. His horns from the back actually look really cool. Um, so there's Barney, the Barnacle Man, Barnacle Boy. Uh, I love him. I like the blue on him. I think that looks really cool. The blue is done, so it's like they're they're almost floating in the sea now. So as I was putting, uh, can you see it over there? Yeah, that's really good as I was painting. So, you know, some of them went with metallic paint, which I can use for highlights. Um, I did most of them in sort of the darker. And then I was doing this one, I was painting this one and these little guys up above. And I realized, ooh, on the shells, what if the base of the shell is a different color from the barnacles? That way you really see the barnacles and it just doesn't look like a mask. So then I did this, the chin. I don't know if you can see that well. It actually came out pretty freaking cool. So highlighting the different sections. So I'm going to do that now. I have my sort of coral color. I used all my orange. That's already on here and I have my yellow. So my yellow is really what I'm gonna go over. These are mostly dry and I'm gonna use my yellow as accent coloring on the edges, the very edges. So they really stand out. I remember that first coat was literally just to get them covered with paint to stabilize them inside and out wherever possible. So this yellow is not fully, this is where I'm going to, I'm going to manage my paint. It's not like it doesn't cover. It's not goopy. It's nice and light and a little bit thin. So I want to use multiple colors on all of them. And when I go back, I've got the orange, I've got the red, and I'm gonna to stick to those three colors. 
But what I want to do is I want to highlight the features, like these gold shells that are here on the, on the forehead are really cool because they have the barnacles on there. So I want to use my contrasts of color to bring them out so that they're not just sort of little globules from a ways away. Because where are these guys, where is this head going to be? Outside! So it needs to be a little bit, oh, thunder. I don't know if you can hear that. The sun, sun is completely out, but it's a little windy and it's thundering outside. So I think what I'm going to do is where these barnacles are, I'm going to highlight them significantly, sort of a little bit drier brush. So it brings out the, so I'm taking off a lot of the paint, making sure it's just yellow. I've got some orange at the base of that paint, but that's fine. I want it to be nice and bright. And I'm going to take off a lot of the paint, let it be a little drier and just brush along the high parts of the barnacles. So it brings out that upper texture because the darker color is underneath. This is how you highlight things with paint is you don't overwork it. You just put it on and brush. I'm brushing so that I can show you how I'm doing it. I'm brushing so that the, my, my brush is flatter as I go along. You see how it just brings out those, those edges, those upper edges. So you can use that as a technique for when you have lots of texture, it'll bring out that texture. I'll show you that one after I get this done and how you can then see the individual barnacles instead of them all being blended into that really cool coral pink and orange combo that I have on there. And I've also got metallic on there. Don't have too much paint on your brush. So you're really wanting to bring out the texture. There we go. Oh, wow. That is really cool. I love it. Yes, much better. I'm going to finish this one up a little bit bolder because it's got so much funky texture. There we go. A little bit. Again, and like I had mentioned before, acrylic paints dry very quickly. So it's better to go light at the beginning and get a little heavier, a little more each time, each pass that you go. I'm doing the very edges of these, bring this down, dry it off a little bit of these barnacles that are on the face. They're nice and metallic, so they'll have that metallic, but I want to bring really let them stand out with the brightness of that yellow. And there we go. Getting this, this one's copper colored over on this one eye. I'm going to bring, I'm going to actually come back to it with the orange so that I still have, will have the copper, but I'm going to have all three colors on all of these. Alrighty. Look at this. I freaking love that. Oh, the textures so incredible on these and it's consistent throughout. Here we go. The chin one. There it is. Now, when I get done with all of this, you say, isn't it just going to wash off? Well, not necessarily wash off, but it will wear off. I mean, it will wash off. Uh, it is acrylic, so it is water based. However, it becomes plastic, basically. As you know, plastic is not water soluble. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to make sure that it becomes sort of weather resistant. It's never going to become weatherproof. That's just, you know, if I were to tell you that I'd be lying and I'm not a liar. Um, <laughs> I try not to be at least, um, and you're like, what does that mean? Yeah. Well, you know how it is. Life happens. Um, no, I don't lie. Uh, I am just telling you, uh, what's funny is that people will ask me, Hey, can I ask you a question? Can you help me with something? I'm like, and I'm always, my answer is always like, yeah. Um, can you show me how to do something? And I say, and I say, yeah, I can totally show you how to do something. And if I don't know how to do it, I'll just make something up if I don't have an answer. And they're always like, ah, and they move on and they never really hear what I say about how it's really kind of rude <laughs> for me to say it. Um, and most people have heard it a few times who, who actually ask, you know, me for advice or whatever. Um, 
So I'll, I'll be like, hey, you know, do you, do you, can you show me how to do blah, blah, blah? I'm like, yeah, but if I don't know how to do it, we'll just make something up. Or it, depending on who it is. And then if it's somebody who, like, I don't want to actually say that to, who wouldn't get it necessarily, like, as a joke, I will say, yeah, if we don't know, we'll look it up. Because uh, I'm all about looking stuff up. Somebody else has figured out how to do it before, guaranteed. Um, I'm not doing anything like earth chattering that's brand new in the world. So, all right, we're going to keep on going with this yellow Woof, for the highlights. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back around with the orange. Because I'm pretty good, I think, with the pink where it is. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, this, this one's really cool because it's like, it's an older shell that's got pock marks in it. Pock marks. Pock marks. And is therefore, um, oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so happy I'm doing this. Um, it's like I have this vision in my head and then I go, I don't know if that's going to work. Let's try it. Um, but that old shell is really cool. The texture that's on it is just brilliant and beautiful and so organic, otherworldly, underworldly, under underwaterly. Um, all right. So I fell in love with with scuba diving. Just so you know, I'd always wanted to do it, like my whole life. Always wanted to do it with with. I, I snorkeled a lot as a kid. Any chance I had, I'd be face down in the water snorkeling. And and just it's just so cool because, you know, you're in this sort of other world. I mean, you literally like are in a, you enter this fantasy world. I love being in the water, on the water. I know a lot of people don't, and that's cool. Um, but my jam is definitely water. My super happy place. And when I was a kid, I snorkeled whenever we would go on vacation I was face down in the water if I was able to be for as much time as possible. So this past year, I was, I was incredibly, incredibly, incredibly lucky to be able to, I mean, just, I have such an appreciation. I really do appreciate how incredibly lucky I was that I was able to go and work remotely from Aruba. All right, let that sink in for a second, right? <laughs> I worked remote for two weeks from Aruba. Yes, the island of Aruba. Um, I, you know, I had an opportunity. It was a kind of a wacky idea. I presented to the guys at work and they were like, yeah, They're, I mean, I, I convinced them because I was I was 100 percent, 100 percent confident that I could do my job. I work two days a week from home anyway. Um, from here upstairs, I have an office, dedicated office. That is a studio and a place for clients for coaching, but also it's it's an office and um, so I have a dedicated space there where I actually work remotely from home two days a week. It's a it's a fabulous, and I I understand it's like it's it's like I'm really super lucky, right? So I was like, well, <clears throat> I have an opportunity to go to Aruba um, for just my airfare. And I can go for two weeks with my friend Larry. He was gracious enough to invite me to see if I wanted to go. You know, he's like throwing that idea as I was walking you know, on the mount on a mountain. And um, I think I'd mentioned this earlier. I was walking, thinking about ways that I could, you know, sort of spend more time traveling because I I love traveling. Larry loves traveling. We travel very well together. Lee Lee Larry and I travel very well together. My husband Larry and I do. And um, Larry is retired, so he wants to travel, and he, you know, wants a travel companion. And we travel very well. We went to Russia together. I mean, we, you know, we've done some crazy traveling together. Well, um, we were in Lake Tahoe, actually finishing our certification, our scuba certification, which was fabulous. And I was up on a mountain hiking, and I was like, in my con contemplative mode of. I want to travel more. I want to have a house on on water. I want to be on water because we're on water or near water, and I'm in heaven right now. Blah 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 blah. How can we do this? And then I was like, well, it doesn't necessarily need to be permanent. What about traveling and working remote? 
with this, you know, post COVID or at, at that time it was it, during COVID. I mean, like we were, yeah, it was sketchy about travel at the time. We took all the precautions that we needed, but we had to test and all, the, all of those things. I was getting so stir crazy because of COVID. Oh my God. I know you can relate. Holy crap, I was going out of my mind, not being able to travel, not being able to do things. We were all going out of our minds. And um, and I was, and it just sort of came around with our discussions of, well, go to, go to Aruba. Spend the time in Aruba. Work. We're in the same time zone. Ended up we weren't. We were an hour apart because they don't do um, daylight savings. But it didn't matter at all and work from Aruba. So I bought a couple monitor, little monitors that could travel with me. I use a laptop for work anyway, and uh, for my for my home office. And I got to spend two weeks, it's crazy, crazy. You can't make this shit up. Two weeks in Aruba, working all day, every day. But because we were one hour apart, this is the brilliant part and the accidental brilliant part I mean, one of the brilliant parts of it. And I was traveling with people I, I really enjoy traveling with. Um, Larry just has gone there for many years, over 15 years, I believe. And so he knows the whole area and is there to relax and recharge his batteries and everything. And so we spent the time in Aruba um, and I snorkeled every single morning face down and then before I started work, because of the time change, I was able to do that. And then when I was done with work, because the sun hadn't gone down yet, I was able to snorkel afterwards as well, which was just freaking incredibly idyllic. I mean, who can say that they did that? Not many people. I can. So um, that was an absolute blast and just an incredible experience. And Hopefully this year, Hubby Lee will be going with us for the last week. We're extending it for three weeks this year. So hopefully, we'll see. It's going to depend on Lee's schedule as to whether or not he can go, obviously. I mean, that's how it works, right? But I'm trying to, trying to get us so he can go as well. Okay, doke. So yellow is done. Now I'm going to put in more orange because I've got the coral color in here. I've got the metallics. Maybe I want more of that sort of reddish metallic that I'll bring in. I do like the gold in there. I'm going to leave those gold ones up at the top as they are. Uh, there we go. Let me get one more slug. I know it's a little late for coffee, but... Mm. And yes, I do drink coffee while I'm painting. Um... <laughs> because I'm not really doing anything where it matters whether or not my hands are shaking. All right, so I've got the yellow. I'm going to keep that out. The red, I think I'm pretty much done with the red, the, the coral color. Oh, these are orange. Maybe I need some more. I'm going to put add some red here on the, this one. These are very orange, so I'm going to do some stripes because, like I said, I want to have all three colors. This brush may not be good for this. Um, this brush is too small. All three colors on all of these. It's actually just fine. I just have to change how I use the brush. This coral pink is really pretty. Put it right around the base of those so that those barnacles pop. Let's do stripes along it. It'll blend in. So you really don't notice that it's like, oh, there's orange and there's red and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to give this more depth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on the low parts where possible. So we give more depth to the shells. So you can really see the shape of the shells. I'll do a little stripies on the gold. So I don't want it just to be plain gold the whole way. And a little dry brush. There we go. Give it a little organic feeling to it. Dry my brush a little bit on these. Do whatever brush is not good. 
and this way I can bring out these guys as well because I've got these little barnacles on these shells but you can't really see them very much Try. I've also got the blue on these there we go I'm gonna cover up that blue a little bit let the gold shine through keep this going just really lightly going over it because I don't want to scare there we go that's cool gives it more depth gives it more uh, contrast there we go lower areas I want it to be with this dark this is the darkest color I've got so I definitely want to bring it in in the lower areas let the orange be the sides so that we have a higher contrast between the yellow highlights and so like the sides of these I'm going to bring in the colors a little orange on there because these are just ending up being yellow because they are actually end up being blue the nose barnacles there we go that's better tying it all together that's metal metallic very good so these metallic ones on the ears actually you know I want to do this chin one a little bit more I know this is gonna be outside but I still want it to be very cool and consistent and maybe bring it inside <laughs> I don't I don't think that'd go over very well but hey let's try sneak it in somewhere and then be like I don't know how that got inside there we go Oop. Losing the... there we go so this one's got that metallic which is very very pretty but I want it to be also that reddish there we go get it down in like deeper areas a little higher contrast It'll really bring out where there is metallic and let the lows be low let the highs be high there we go very very cool do, do, do. I'm gonna do that on this one as well so I'm gonna be on the center of this one because that'll bring out that ridge that I just highlighted There we go. It gives that little bit of contrast makes a huge difference visually. There we go. Turn it up a little bit. Come back. And it gives it also not just it's one color, because things aren't just one color. Things definitely have many, many, many shades. They reflect light differently. This guy is just going to do the edges in the crevice, in the bottoms of the crevices. A little, there you go, little pops of color in there. And almost done here. A little bit between. So the other deal with this paint that I've got Something to think about as you paint is your finish. Now, what the heck do I mean by that, right? Oh, there we go. That's much better. Um, well, you've got shiny, you've got dull, also known as matte, satin, um, there we go, cool. Can you think of more? more finishes glossy right and you've got um, so the metallic is going to be reflective this these paints are going to be flat or matte or satin at the highest you've got semi gloss you've got gloss so see the contrast that I've got getting now how much better that is where you can really see different parts of the different I don't want to do that I'm going to actually do something wacky here. I'm going to take the bottom corners of these shells and really highlight them. I know I'm spending a lot of time with real detailed stuff, but I really kind of 
and like not just kind of a super grooving on this guy. So much fun to be able to bring out tons of stuff like this. It's so, so bizarre. Let's blast all of it. Make sure that doesn't cross in there. And then, so I'm just gonna work my way. So I've got that colors in the back, I've got the orange. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on this back one, a little bit more in the low sides of it. Because so remember, I got I went over the green, if you remember previous, previously. And I wanna put even more in here to cover the real dark areas that had green. But what I'm gonna be careful about, oops, I wanna wet brush here, because I wanna get a significant amount of paint on here to get rid of that under green undertone that was previously there. I don't mind that much, but I just don't. It's not where I went with it. There we go. A little bit more highlights with the yellow. A little too wet for my brush, whoops. So this one I did not do the highlights on, and you can tell because all my little high ridges, oh, oh my God, I didn't do the back. Huh, there's all the high ridges. Look at that, I forgot to do the back. Why didn't you tell me? I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm gonna take a few more minutes before I end this one. Finish highlighting. Oh, this looks so much better with it highlighted because I can actually see all the little details now. Oh, that's cool. Sorry, I started saying something I've now completely forgotten because I got distracted by the fact that the back of this whole thing was not even highlighted. Um, anyway, whatever I was saying, <laughs> I'm sure you were not at the edge of your seat wanting to know what the results were that I was talking about. But um, my brain on art goes everywhere. Yours probably does too, it's so meditative. I love it. All right, this has come along really well. You'll notice that I'm turning my brush. You may not have noticed, but I want to make sure while I'm highlighting that I'm not just highlighting in one direction, not with something like this. Sometimes you do, Some, that, that kind of just coming from one angle is sort of going with your light source idea. Works really well. With something like this, I wanna make sure, however, that I'm because I'm doing ridges that are very fine ridges I wanted to go down the sides of the ridges a little bit therefore because otherwise it's just I mean it's going to get lost therefore I'm changing the direction of my brush I'm rotating it in my fingers as I go so I use different surfaces of my brush I don't want it to be too wet but I want it to be wet enough so that it does pick up a bead when I go across it, and I'm using that flat, chuk, 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 not, not doing this, I'm pulling the paint across it in that up and down motion, this motion. And the beauty of it is, if I get it somewhere where I don't really want it, I can always paint over it. No biggie, right? I love it. And it's for where? Outside! Therefore, right, this is moving all over. Therefore, I, forgot, uh, I have a lot of leeway with this. This is great. All right, that has gone where I want it to go. Now, the only other thing that I need to do here, yeah, I've got all of them done now. Hmm, that's so funny, I missed those. Make sure that I've got enough. Yeah, the red is gone in here. The red is good, it's covered. Now I want to bring more orange back in, so I'm going to use a different brush, pull the orange that I have, just a little bit, and then I'm also going to bring my metallic back here as well, because I've got no metallic on this, I really like, oh, oh, there it is, wow, that's a lot, I really like the metallic, so I'm going to add that in, and I'm going to say adieu, adieu, adieu to you and you and you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm almost done here. I'm not going to do anything magnificent or different while I'm off the screen with you. Like I promised, I won't do anything big and crazy without you watching. 
I will just add a little bit. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit of metallic here and there, on here, 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 and then I'm going to be done for the day. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day. Love others. Put that love out there. Don't be judgy. Relax. Take a breath. And then respond. I don't do it enough. Not nearly enough. I was very short-tempered this weekend. I don't know why. And then I was very short-tempered with myself because I was very short-tempered generally. I don't get short-tempered with other people that much. Lately, I have. I don't know if it's a if it's a getting back out there with people again and people are just annoying me. Well, you know, I really need to let that go because that's me. That's not them. They, they've they always been that annoying. Uh, it's how I react to them. That's what I can control. So that's my goal for this week is to be less reactive, more proactive, and to take a breath and go, okay, calm. Now I can react. And most of the time I'll be like, done. We'll be done. All right. I hope you have a wonderful week. Have a great one. Bye.